Hello, what you will need to make a lantern. Tissue paper in colours, white, black, patterned. If you have larger pieces, that's good too. Coloured cellophane left over from Christmas and black card or paper. PVA craft glue in a small tub, a sponge from the kitchen to put the glue on, scissors, some sellotape, string, not too thick, some wax crayons if you have them, a small light, we'll talk about that later, and a rock, make sure it's dry. We're going to use the waste plastic packaging from the kitchen at home. So you need a large empty plastic milk bottle, or a few, and empty plastic drinks bottles, clear if possible. Begin by taking the label off the large drinks bottle. With adult help, cut a good chunk of the top of the bottle off. Take the milk carton, remove the label, and then mark where you're gonna cut away. You need to try and get the largest part of the flat, smooth area that you can, which means getting rid of the top and the very bottom, and that's the piece you need. Check that your milk carton plastic roughly matches in size to the bottom part of your bottle. It's going to go inside, so you might need to trim the width, and you do want a gap below your milk carton plastic. Put paper or card on your table to protect it from glue. You're now going to make the main part of your lantern, the pattern or the picture that's going to illuminate. The lanterns need to look bold at night, so it's a good idea to use your black card or paper for your main shapes and your main picture. Your lantern might have images on, people, animals, trees, nature, stars, moons, houses, or it might just be a pattern. I've decided to create a scene of dancing friends, which I've made first in black to make it clear. Now I'm putting PVA onto my plastic because it's good to have colour on my lantern. I'm choosing some patterned tissue paper because the light shines through tissue paper really well. Ripping edges is a nice effect. I'm going to add a brighter colour at the top. And also at the bottom. I'm happy that this tissue paper sticks out below the bottom of the plastic. I'll use that later. Now it's time to put my black shapes on. I'm using the same PVA. Push them down firmly and make sure all of this dries really well before you move on. This is a different style, the same materials, but this time I'm gonna make more of a snowy scene. White tissue paper first, but this time I'm also gonna use wax crayons to, to draw and scribble and create color because the light will shine through the wax crayons. Still using PVA, and still using my black card, I'm creating my main scene. I need some tissue paper at the top. So I'm gonna to add 
a little bit more colour with this. And because it's all pale, to brighten things up a little bit, I'm going to put some orange into my stars. And in the windows of my house, make sure people are home and the lights are on. This lantern's really simple. First of all, colouring wax crayon onto the plastic. I can use a few colours for this. And not a scene this time, just a simple pattern of stars, but still cut out of black. I'm going to try making the night sky really dark around the stars, so only the stars shine on my lantern. Make sure it dries really well before you move on. Only use materials that will look good with light shining through. Tissue paper, cellophane, leaves can look good if you can find some dry ones, black card or paper and wax crayons. Try not to use these materials, white typing paper that will just look grey on a lantern, craft paint and ordinary felt tips. Putting the lantern together, take your rock, make sure it fits in the bottom of your bottle and wrap it up and disguise it with coloured tissue paper. Take your dry seam and curl it round into a tube shape, plastic on the outside, and carefully slide it inside the drinks bottle to meet the rock. Make sure it fits nicely inside, with nothing really badly overlapping, and if you need to, use a little bit of sellotape to hold it in place. Take the lid of your bottle and carefully slide it over the bottom half. Make sure it overlaps the top over the bottom. Remove the lid of your bottle but keep it safe. And now take your small light, it's an LED and it has a little loop on one end which you can tie onto a piece of string. This is so it can dangle inside your lantern like this. You want it hanging about halfway down behind your seam. Screw the lid of the bottle back on and keep the string dangling out of the top. The lid keeps it there. A rock in the bottom to stop the lantern blowing away, the main pattern and colours on the sides and the lid over the top to stop the rain getting in, the piece of string on the outside to take out the light to switch it off. You can make several lanterns different shapes and sizes. This is how the snowy scene looks. Switch your lights off as well so that you save battery power when you don't need them on. 